This video is to help you with an introduction, the care, and some troubleshooting for your new Nutramil. If you have this video, that means you probably bought a Nutramil from us at millersgrainhouse.com or you've purchased one and you've got some questions, so you did a search, and hopefully this is going to be helpful either way. Even if you haven't bought one yet, this will help you get uh, familiar with the Nutramil. First and foremost, keep your manual. The good idea is to also staple a little baggie to the back of it which will help you keep up with these little beauties. You stick them in here, your spares, and that way you always have it. Second, keep your box just in case there's an issue because you have a warranty and you can ship it back to the manufacturer and they'll fix it for you, no problem, no charge. Okay, when the box first arrives and you take all the items out, this is what it looks like pretty much. You're wondering where is that hopper extension because this looks awfully short. Here it is. It's inside the main container for your flower. Reach in and pull it out. If it won't come out, just tip it over. Mine is about five years old. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. So um, this is the cleanest I've ever seen it since I bought it. Put your hopper extension on, and there you go. You can put up to about 20 cups of grain in here. Um, second thing you need to know is the difference between speed and texture. This is your texture this is your speed. This controls simply the engine speed. At basically how fast it mills it, fast or slower. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the noise. Yes, it's a little noisy. It doesn't do anything other than how hard you're working the engine, which is this white portion in here. This is your texture. Right down in here, you can see how it opens for larger grains to go in or closes for smaller grains. This is the finer or coarser. If you are milling beans or popcorn, you want it about that wide or wider. It will not give you a cracked wheat, but it will give you a more coarse flour if you're, if you're grinding wheat. All right, next, this is very important. Because of the seal, which is meant to keep flour from flying out of the inside of your container, the seal is new. So you want to wash it off once and then don't wash it again, hardly ever, maybe once a month. But every time you wash it, you will need to flour it. Put a little flour in your hand, run it along the outside of that rim, and flour it. Do not use oil, do not try to use water, uh, nothing wet or moist. Then it'll slide very easily. If you use flour or water, flour, it keeps them from sticking. If you use water or oil, a lot like putting a wet glass inside another one, they're going to get stuck. It will form that seal almost <laughs> permanently for you. Um, as you saw how I take it on and off, you can stick your thumb in this little hopper holder or you can just grab the top and push or pull, okay? When you go to mill, make sure your flour uh, filter is there for the engine. Make sure your cup is on to collect anything that may have flown through the engine and keep it separate from your milled flour. Be sure that it's pushed all the way back to yes. You can see on the bottom here it says no and yes. Make sure it's pushed back there. If you don't, you're going to walk around the corner and find a huge cloud of flour just floating overhead and usually it's after you've mopped the floor and you have to clean it all up. The only reason I know that is because I've done that. Um, what can go in the dishwasher? Now, my suggestion is you wash all of it by hand and very little in the dishwasher. The very first time you use your Nutramil, you want to mill one cup of grain and then discard it because that helps to flour all the gears inside, um, absorb anything from manufacturing that was coating um, when the gears were put together. So you want to discard that first one and then you're set to go. Now, if you've milled a few times, you're going to notice it gets kind of dusty and you're going to think, I need to wash it. Yeah, maybe. 
Uh, remember how I showed you to flour this. You don't want to wash it so often that you can't ever turn and open your container. So what you need to do is most of the time just take a, a normal paper towel and dust it off. When you do need to wash it, preferably wash by hand. If you happen to have a brain blip and put it in the dishwasher, I'll show you what you can do for that afterwards. But there are two pieces that can go in the dishwasher whenever you feel the need to clean them, and they are, now this is not in the manual, this is my opinion, they are the filter and the collector cup. That one makes sense. Get it nice and clean, put it in the dishwasher. But the filter, after you've used it for a little while, starts to look like this. <laughs> starts to look like this. What you do at this point is soak it in water, some soapy water, and just before you run the dishwasher, stick it in a nice tight container, uh, like a silverware slot or something to where it's not going to come flying out, and the dishwasher will help get the rest of that out. What you always want to do before you replace it back in your Nutramel is hold it up to the light and make sure you can see through all of it because flour and water, once they're stuck together, will stay in there. So you want to get it nice and clean. Otherwise, wash it by hand until you see all the way through. If you do happen to put the bowl part or the hopper part in the dishwasher, there is the potential that it might warp, so I would stay away from that. This part is a little bit more sturdy. It shouldn't have as much of an issue. But if the bowl gets washed in the dishwasher and your dishwasher is a little hot and it does warp to where the seal doesn't work and the flour starts to fly out the side, there is a way to fix it. Guess how I know this? I did this. I washed it by the dishwasher and warped the bowl. And I didn't want to go buying a new one just because I've done something stupid. So I put the flour top on it, take this out, Make sure the cup is out of the inside and put it on top of a cookie sheet with a towel un underneath it. So cookie sheet, towel, Nutramilk with the top on it. Turned my oven on to 200 degrees until it hit there and then I turned it off. I put the Nutramilk on top of the towel, on top of the cookie sheet in the oven as it was off and weighted it down actually with bricks so that the seal stayed. Then once the oven was completely cool, I took it out, let the whole thing cool, and it restored the seal. It, it fixed the warp. This is not in the manufacturer's handbook. I'm not telling everybody to do it, but I did find out that that's how you can fix it. Basically, the Nutramill is a wonderful tool. If you are new to milling at home and don't know anything about it, you can go to our other website, grainmiller.com singulargrainmiller.com. Uh, halfway down, there's a little video that tells you why milling at home is important. If you are one of our customers, I want to tell you thank you for giving us tips and ideas on what can be done to teach somebody not to get frustrated when they first get the Nutramil. Special thanks to Miss Arma, who spent a lot of time helping me on the phone. Um, think of some things that might puzzle someone when they first open up the box. I hope this has been helpful to you, and if you're interested in purchasing a Nutramil, you can check out our website. Thanks.